from recipients to givers. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 to 25, Jesus selects and sends out his disciples to spread his message. He empowers them with authority to heal the sick and cast out demons. Jesus instructs them to go only to the lost sheep of Israel, warning them about coming hardships and persecution. He advises them not to worry about what to say, for the Spirit will guide their words. Jesus reminds them of the opposition they will face, even from their own families, and encourages them to remain faithful despite the challenges. And today, I want to encourage you with a powerful message of hope and inspiration found in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. In this verse, Jesus says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give. These words of Jesus overflow with love and compassion. They remind us of our calling as believers to embody His love and extend His grace to those around us. Let's take a moment to reflect on the profound meaning behind these words and the impact it can have on our lives. Heal the sick. Jesus calls us to be vessels of healing in this broken world. Whether it is physical sickness or emotional pain, let us not shy away from offering comfort to those in need. Let's pray for the sick, visit the lonely, and lend a listening ear to the hurting souls around us. By showing compassion, we reveal the healing power of God's love. Raise the Dead while physical resurrection may be beyond our human capabilities, we can still bring life into the hearts of those who feel spiritually dead or lost. Let's share the good news of Jesus Christ and His transformative power, helping others discover the hope, joy, and purpose that comes from a relationship with Him. Through our words and actions, we can be catalysts for spiritual rebirth. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Leprosy in biblical times was more than just a physical disease. It also carried social and emotional stigma. In our modern context, leprosy can represent any form of marginalization or discrimination. Jesus challenges us to reach out to the outcasts, the forgotten ones, and the ostracized. Let us extend love and acceptance to those who have been pushed to the edges of society, showing them that in Christ, all are valued and welcomed. Drive out demons Although the mention of demons might make us uncomfortable, it symbolizes the spiritual battles people face in their lives today. We have the authority through Christ to stand against the forces of darkness and bring freedom and deliverance to those in spiritual bondage. Let's intercede in prayer, offering support, encouragement, and guidance to those who are struggling. By declaring the name of Jesus, we can drive out the powers of darkness, setting captives free. In this verse, Jesus reminds us that we have freely received His blessings, love, and grace. Therefore, it is our privilege and responsibility to freely give to others. We are called to be channels of His love, mercy, and power, demonstrating the character of Christ in every encounter. Take a moment to reflect on how you can live out Matthew chapter 10, verse 8 in your own life. Let it inspire and guide you as you interact with others. Remember, it is in serving others that we experience the true joy and fulfillment found in the selfless love of Christ. May you be encouraged and empowered by this devotional message today. 
May the Holy Spirit guide you as you seek to embody the love and compassion of Jesus. And may you always find strength and grace to freely give to others, shining His light in a world that desperately needs it.